Hello friends, let's understand how to perform chi-square test for independence in Microsoft Excel. So the chi-square test of independence is a statistical hypothesis test that determine if two categorical variables are independent or not. For example, let's say first category variable is gender and second categorical variable is graduation. And you can see here we have sample data set one that depict gender and second that depict graduation so the null hypothesis in chi-square test for independence will goes like this there is no association between gender and graduation and they are ind independent and uh, alternative hypothesis will go, will go like this there is an association between gender and graduation and they are not independent so basically when we collect data with the help of google from then will generate such data and we know that when we are talking about running chi-square chi chi test when then we require cross step that you can see here so first we would like to convert this data into cross step and that will give uh, us an actual observation and then based on actual observation we have to calculate and then we'll go with the chi-square calculation so to convert this raw data into let's say for example cross tabulation you just have to select like this then click insert select recommended chart and select this chart once you click here new window will appear and you can see here the frequency distribution has been created and when you click on this chart right hand side you can see here on axis there is one variable graduation and in legend there is we don't in, we don't have anything so what you need to do is just drag and drop gender here once you do that you can see here a table has been created that give the frequency of graduation as per the male and female now just click and copy this from here go to your data tab and add that data here make sure you just paste values so this is how the cross tab has been created now what you need to do is make a total like this here again here again we need to make total now we can drag drop and this will your overall total that is 120 so this is actual observation is uh, calculated now for chi square test we require expected observation so what we can do is you just have to copy this and make sure you paste here like values only values and then you have to remove this because we need to have a expected value so the formula of expected value is column total multiply by row total divided by the total so this is how it goes divided by total so this is for the first cell we did and same we are going to perform for rest of the cells so it is how it goes this multiply by 55 divided by some total okay so you can do manually and if you want to use dollar symbol to take absolute reference for that column then it can be but otherwise you can do this one by one so again i am repeating for cell number four this multiply by this and then divided by main total that is 120 again i am doing here this multiply by 8 and total divided by 120 i hope it is easy and same is applicable to this this multiply by this divided by some total so let me do it for all in the same way this is for second let's do it for third so we are done let's make a division with 120 69 then multiply by 51 divided by sum total and here it is 
69 8 divided by 120 so this is this is what we are done with uh, expected frequency right so once we are done with uh, actual and expected frequency we can run uh, a test and for we can calculate the p value so formula for p value is you have to type is equal to and then you have to type chi so this is the chi square test they'll ask you two range one is actual range so right now i'm selecting this is at the actual range then put comma and this you can see here the next thing is highlighted that is expected range so this is your expected range close the bracket you are done so the p value here is 0.64113 now you can see that the this p value this p value is greater than 0 0.05 so when p value is greater than 0 0.05 it technically means your null hypothesis is accepted so when your null hypothesis is accepted what does it mean there is no association between gender and graduation and both these variables are independent of each other i hope you like the video i hope you understand it perfectly and this kind of chi squared test you can run for other categorical variable as well thank you so much thank you